agree with it. And Let's, not only do I agree with it, incredibly grateful that you're willing to do it. Very little time left, but um, Reverend Thea Harris has a quick Just, one. There's 62 million workers that are making less than a living wage, and there's no place in this country where if you're working a minimum wage, you can afford a two-bedroom apartment. Right. What are you going to do about this? So I think for, I think there are two two issues, and I'll, 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 I'll just quickly, because I know i got to get out of here. One, I don't have, I'd love to stay here, but I know you got other people. <laughs> One issue is the income issue. Then that issue is we have had flat incomes for 40 years in America. We need to solve that, and we can solve that by raising the minimum wage, but that's not the only thing we need to do. We need to change tax policy, like I mentioned earlier, the earned income tax credit and the and the and the child tax credit that could make a huge difference especially for poor people living in rural areas where it might be hard to get the same minimum wage job you can get somewhere else second is what stuff costs and housing health care higher education early childhood education preschool they're totally out of reach for americans middle class americans to say nothing of people living in poverty and i believe you know when we live in a country here's how screwed up our priorities are right when everybody who's eligible for the mortgage deduction gets the mortgage That's deduction time. but only a quarter of the people eligible for housing vouchers get it we should fix it thank you for having thank me thank you very much senator bennett appreciate you thank you for being here appreciate your time thank you very much thank you all right